Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also a publisher of Reading the Pictures. This photo was timely enough, documenting one of the few abortion clinics left in Alabama. And now it's even more relevant, as it circulates at the same time as a leaked draft decision from the Supreme Court striking down Roe v. Wade. This photo was taken by Evelyn Hochstein for Reuters. It shows Dr. Shelley Chen performing an abortion while a nurse assists with ultrasound at Planned Parenthood in Birmingham, Alabama on March 14, 2022. At this point, Alabama relies entirely on out-of-state doctors to provide abortions, a procedure that could effectively end in many states if the Supreme Court's draft decision stands. One thing that's important about this photo and the several others that Hochstein made at these clinics, she's showing us what reproductive freedom looks like up close. And in this photograph, what reproductive freedom looks like is a doctor, a safe medical environment, and a consenting patient. I think it's important to note also that the patient in this photo is presumably consenting not only to the health care she's receiving, but also to having a photographer present to document. And this is important, I think, because it suggests something about what people who choose to have abortions want us to know and see and understand about their experience. That even in the context of this very vulnerable, potentially stressful moment, these patients presumably want to communicate to the rest of us something of what their experience is. Yeah, we've profiled a number of abortion-related photos over the last months and actually years. That includes, for example, a photograph by Gabrielle Lurie from Oklahoma City last December. And what's interesting when you look at that photo and then this one, each photograph seems to become a little bit more intimate and urgent as the Supreme Court moves closer to an outright ban on the procedure. This photograph, I think, gives us several things that make it especially compelling. First, it offers evidence of abortion as a medical procedure. So in this photo, she shows us medical instruments. She shows us a doctor using her training to perform a medical procedure. And we see what looks like a clean and safe environment, context in which that procedure is taking place. I'm also really struck by that clock at the left side of the frame. Given the recent leaked draft, this clock is ominous. It's on the edge of the frame, and in a way, it seems almost to be creeping closer to the doctor and the patient. It really invites viewers, I think, in this very urgent political context we're in regarding reproductive freedom to think about how much time is left or whether time has run out. And then I don't think you'll find a more expressive hand in a photograph. If nothing else, this hand really speaks to a sense of tension. And there might be other things going on there that we don't know, but tension certainly is in play. And opponents of abortion, especially the more extreme ones, frame the procedure, the act, the people seeking to terminate a pregnancy as people doing something like casually or impulsively. And I think this hand really counters that notion. Another thing to note is how much these physical procedures and photos of procedures like this are increasingly rare. There's a picture in the Reuters edit showing Dr. Tian dispensing an abortion pill. With abortions already severely restricted in a majority of states across the country and medication abortions now accounting for more than 50% of the U.S. total, a scene like this might be practically, if not constitutionally, past its time. 